girls. So I've gone through some lower body stuff. So now I'm going to take you through um, some abdominal exercises on one of our upper body exercises that we can do. Now, every time I mention a press up, I don't know why people do that, but a press up, the instant reaction I get of everyone is, I can't do a press up. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no such word as can't. We can all do something within our own abilities, no matter if it's not as good as the person next year, that doesn't matter. It's your class, it's all about you and what your body can do. So a few little pointers about when we do press-ups. What you want to try and avoid is doing too much of this and keeping your bum stuck in the air and arching the back too much. It's just going to cause problems later along the line for our lower back. So there's two ways we can do a press-up. We can do a half press-up and we could do a full press-up as well. So what I want you to first start off with is you take your hands a little bit wider than shoulders and make sure that your fingers are facing forward. You don't want your hands turned in. You want them facing forward and not be putting too much pressure around the wrist area. Then what you want to try and make sure you do is go into like a slanted position to start with. And this is the best way I can explain it. But you want to squeeze your bum cheeks together as if you were going to have a trump or something like that. It just makes it so much easier for me to explain. So hands are wider than shoulders and my bottom's down. I'm not putting any pressure on the wrist or on my shoulders and there's no arching of the back. Squeezing bum cheeks together, abdominals strong. You're aiming the chest towards the floor and then you're coming straight back up. Even if you can only get to there, remember in time as you progress, you'll eventually be able to get your chest all the way down to the floor and straight back up. If you wanted to try a full press up, that's fine, but remember this doesn't count. It's got to be all the way down and all the way up. Oh, that was a click then. So remember when you're doing it, you want to try and avoid any pressure around the back. A start and slanted position, abdominal strong, straight down and straight back up. And with time, you will get stronger and you'll find that you can go down a little bit further and you never know, you might just get to that full press up. The next exercise, again, we can't do it, is the plank. And this is an abdominals exercise. It is originally um, a Pilates exercise, but can be brought into conditioning classes as well and made a little bit harder. So plank, you can do, um, there is three variations to plank. We mainly use two, sometimes we use three variations. So what you want to be feeling on this one is this little square here is where you want to be feeling most of the work. You don't want to be feeling any pressure on the lower back or around into the shoulders. If you're feeling it in the lower back, what you might find is that you're just arching your back. And that's all. You're just trying to make it easy for yourself. That's all. Any pressure in the shoulders might mean that you're leaning forward a little bit and putting pressure around here. So I'm just going to show you the easy version, the, like the first variation that we use. So we're down onto the floor, elbows out in front, abdominals braced in, pulling up from the pelvic floor, knees stay on the floor, and you just bring yourself up, and you just hold it there. And all you're doing is breathing in through the nose, and then out through the mouth, and you're just holding it, pushing belly button into spine, and remembering to breathe at all times. If we were to advance that and make it a little bit harder, we come up onto our toes, again, bottoms down, and we'd be holding it there. What you want to try and avoid is making a bridge or arching the back up or again, leaning forward. So you've got option one, which is like this, and option two, which is like this. If you've been before, you'll know that we do a third option, which is taking it into full plank position. So we place our hands onto the floor, make sure there's no pressure around the wrist, come up onto our toes, and you just hold it there. Again, you want to avoid coming up too much or dropping the hips too much to put too much pressure around the pelvis. We just hold it there, have a little shake while I'm here, and then we just bring it down. So there's a few um, exercises that I find some people find difficult sometimes, so I thought I'd just put a little video together. See you soon.